Hey folks, my name is Griff Lynch and I'm the Executive Director for the Georgia Ports Authority. And I'm standing right now on our new Mega Rail, which is located at the Garden City Terminal just outside of Savannah, the single largest container terminal in North America. And I'm here to talk about the Mega Rail and thank all the folks that have helped make this happen. As you see behind me, we have a crane being commissioned that will be handed over to us in just two short weeks. And in a few months, we'll be handling trains out here on a daily basis. This effort did not happen by the Georgia Ports efforts alone. It took the federal government, the state government, the local community and us all working together. And I want to start with the federal government because when I think about some special people and organizations that have helped us get where we are today, I want to make sure that we recognize Senator David Perdue and Congressman Buddy Carter who have been champions for our ports for years now. I also want to give special recognition to Admiral Busby and the Maritime Administration for the great work that he and his team have done to enable us to be here today and to be enjoying this moment. And I certainly hope that Admiral Busby will join us in the near future when we have our grand opening. I know that he asked me, he said, you guys going to get this thing done? And I said, sir, yes, sir. And here we are now, and I hope that he'll get the chance to see this video because this is a celebration of a grant that we received. $44 million of the $200 million the Georgia Ports Authority will spend came from the federal government. But it also took state involvement, Governor Kemp and his team, and the local community, both Chatham County and Garden City. So what does the project consist of? This project consists of $38 million of American steel built in the USA. 2 million man hours of Americans working here. For the last four years, we've had about 150 to 200 people a day on site. We have 24 and a half miles of track. We can handle six 10,000 foot trains simultaneously. And the beauty about all this is that we've also removed 24 at grade rail crossings. We have an overpass that the trains will pass under and the cars will drive over. And so what that means is the surrounding community will be impacted a lot less by our traffic, truck traffic and our train traffic. And I'm really excited about that. Let's make sure I also recognize both Norfolk Southern and CSX and thank them for their support of our Garden City Terminal and all of the facilities in Georgia. The Mega Rail only complements the investments that they too are making in their services. And I think when you put all these things together, what you're going to see is incredible service to Atlanta, to Memphis, to Chicago, and so many other inland destinations that we serve. But again, this never happens if we don't have the help that we had. And I want to thank you all for that help. Thank you for the effort by the Georgia Ports Authority team to make it happen, and for especially to Marad once again for the work that they've put into this. I hope everybody will get the chance to come down for our grand opening ceremony here at some point in the future, and we'll celebrate this one more time. Thank you and have a great day. Uh...